I have in front of me a Lab Gear RF modulator. It's available with low cost small parcel delivery directly from freetv.ie. So you can see the outer box here. Lab Gear, one of the premium brands in TV distribution equipment, okay? Um, comes with a three pin plug, so it's designed specifically for the Irish and UK um, market. Um, so what basically we have is, we have two types of inputs on it. Uh, well, one sort of a loop. So the first thing we're going to have it is an RCA input. Now you can use a, a SCART to RCA adapter here. Um, so either a SCART or an RCA, RCA input is basically what you have here. So what you're doing is you're feeding in that analog signal and you're converting it to a, an analog um, signal that will come out here through an RF cable on it. Now the other input that we have on it is an antenna in. So just say we had a serview signal coming in, we fed it in here or an analog signal, you can actually combine it into a signal cable and you can avoid conflicting uh, of channels. Um, so a typical application of this, this is probably an easier way of explaining it is, just say you come along and you have an old VCR and you have an output there and you want to send a signal out over an RF uh, signal. What you can do is you can run the output here, convert it into this and run it through an old cable. Uh, the key thing is, is that whatever device you connect it to uh, in terms of uh, the output from this particular device uh, will have to have an analog tuner because it's an analog signal that's coming out. What I'm going to do here to quickly demonstrate this, I'm just going to plug this directly in here. So we'll see when we do this, it'll light up and it'll just come along and the default channel number on it would have been 21 but you can change channel numbers up and down doing this here so you can change them in both directions so the uh, basically the UHF um, range will go from channel um, uh, 21 all the way traditionally up to 69 but now because of the use of um, 4G networks and things like that it effectively ends at 59 and soon will be 49 for television networks um, and if you have a particular channel where you want to keep it locked, you can press the lock button here to actually hold it. Now there's amplification um, here, which I won't go into here, but you can adjust it, we'll say, in terms of audio, things like that, to give you a, a fine adjustment on it. Um, so I, I like this unit here, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, when we have the output on it, it's just an F-type connection here, which you can run directly out. Um, be warned, we'll say, that a lot of modulators on the market, and we know this from testing them here, um, are not good okay they really distort the signal and all the rest of it the reason that we go take the lab gear uh, modulator is lab gear have a reputation to protect so they produce pro quality products and because they produce them in bulk we'll say the price point on them is still pretty attractive so an analog um uh, modulator like this is still probably 75 percent cheaper than a digital modulator would be maybe even more so and um, so it's like a well-priced product and the, it's a declining market obviously because it's depending on analog tuners um, but there still is a lot of devices out there with analog um, so there is a demand for it to a certain extent so that's it anyway an overview of the lab here rf modulator available with low-cost shipping directly from freetv.ie